We work on projects together, I guess, right? I never fuck her. Yeah, that's right? acquaintance. That's Not, work. That, we're talking about friendship. Well, I mean, she's still a friend, though. If she's an acquaintance. She's someone you work with, someone you know. I wouldn't call him a friend. So, okay, it's not mutually exclusive. It's, it, it well, yeah, be. it's hard to draw the line. But my point is that I, I don't think that when a woman and a man are purely just friends without, let's say, a financial... Yeah, shout out other debate topics, y'all. Purely just friends. I don't think that's a platonic relationship. I think the man is interested in her most of the time. And when people disagree with me that, I say, then why do all the hot girls have so many friends and all the ugly girls don't have any? The men are trying to get laid. And for her to sit there and entertain it and pretend that that's not the case. Oh, no, he's just my friend. She knows what's going on. It's bullshit. X, I have and a question. To sorry, sorry to interrupt. Someone well, asked. Because you can X, reverse that. X, what? somebody had asked uh, X if, uh, would, would you be okay if uh, your girlfriend was best friends with Andrew Tate? Well, I, I don't want any of my friends being friends with Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is a fucking moron. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. Um... We uh, could, you know, you're, a friend. you're a famous Twitcher, bro. We could, we could do a really, we could get a lot of pay per views on a boxing match anytime. Bro, 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 bro. Have you seen these sticks I got? I, these are like, they're fucking, these are sticks. I can't, I can't fight with that. <laughs> bro, I did, I did one tap. I don't, I don't, I'm still not scared saying that. It's like, it, it, I, I don't know. It's like, it's not, even, it's, not even, it's not even comparable. Like if I said it, best, biggest fucking UFC fighter, Colossus, fucking seventh foot Andy. I mean, he's going to clap you too. It's all a matter of scale. Of course. Well, this uh, this is my point. The point is that I don't think that most male female friendships are truly and utterly completely platonic. I think if any woman's honest, she'll admit that too. And for the same reason I discussed earlier, well, I wouldn't let someone attempt to break into my Lambo. I would not let some man come along under the shield, under the guise of friend. I'm not gonna let some dude come along, put on a friend hat and try on with my chick permanently. That's bullshit. And she shouldn't want that either. She should say, this guy obviously wants more. I'm not talking to him. Or I'll talk to him only at work for X event. That's it. And, and 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 I know these views for some reason. I don't know why these views are extreme because these are really not. They, these are not. The rest of them are kind of extreme. They are, they are legitimately. That one is not too extreme because um yeah, a lot of people have these intentions that are that are preemptive, and when they see somebody that's like attractive or whatever, yeah, they'll be friends and trying to try to snake their way in or whatever. But would I your, was, would what? your mother hang around with some dude behind your father's back and say he's her friend? Would your mother say that again? Would your mother hang around with some dude behind your father's back and say he's just my friend? Would your would your father tolerate that? Uh, they're not together, they're divorced. Okay. But I'm talking about a different generation, right? Let's imagine people married 40, 50 years ago. Would they would was it normal? Was it normal then for dudes for chicks to be hanging around with a bunch of dudes and saying he's just my friend only 30, 40 years ago? Or is this all new thing? A friend, it depends what kind of activities you do. I mean, dude. Nah, bro, he's it, right. It, 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 you can have friends honest. doing a bunch, a bunch of shit. Like, they can go fucking, maybe they like playing golf together. Maybe they like. It's new think, my friend. And what you must understand is that the things I'm talking about are, were perfectly normal and completely and utterly accepted. Oh, you're one of Long these guys. Okay, it's okay. These guys. It's about accepting that society has changed and that new think is untested. And when you look at untested think, because that's what it is, it's untested by the definition of being new in and of itself, it's untested. Yo, how long is he going to get on massage for it, bro? We had relationships for a very, very long time, thousands of years, where when a woman was with a man, she only spoke to that man. And most of the world today, still that is the case. You may live in America, but if you go to Africa or any of the Middle East or Asia or even Europe, Eastern Europe, Russia, any of these places, if you think these chicks are, have male friends, then you don't understand the world very well. Take it a piss. America, One sec. Keep going. Okay, Keep going. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna reverse and say, in the age of a Mesopotamia or some shit, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, girls had, had had friends and shit, and then stuff with other guys. Yeah, th things change. It doesn't devalidate them as untested. A lot of things were untested previously, like uh, how does that prove anything? Like, because what is that? New equals bad thing? Like, well, I don't know what that is. New, new doesn't equal bad. New equals untested, which means you don't know. Nobody knows how this new societal paradigm is going to play out. I can only talk from my personal experience. And my personal experience is that when a woman has a bunch of male friends and a boyfriend, the relationship doesn't last very long. That's my personal experience. I, I've seen it happen a thousand times. Yeah, I, I mean... If, that, if if you date some girls unfulfilled of you so much that she's willing to give other guys a chance and keep an open mind about who they're going to date and who they're with, that they're going to do that with, with people that they meet randomly. But if, she's, but if she's fulfilled, she wouldn't have male friends. You're pretending that a girl can be fulfilled. That's not true. That's not true. What yes, if, it is. What if, what if Bro, she already you're... had a friend before before you, like oh, understood. years, years ago? Understood. I, I've been with women and they've had a friend for a very long time. But... I make it very clear to him, look, he clearly likes you. And if she's honest, she's like, yeah, I know. I keep my arm's length. 
And she's very honest and open with me about it. Oh, he just texts me trying to get me to go out. I'm not going to reply to him. And she'll, she'll distance herself on purpose and she'll make it very, very clear that she's in love with me. And she'll keep him where he belongs. Very, 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 very firmly in the friend zone with no hope. Because that's oh. her job to do. I don't have to tell her to do that. Now, if I have to come along to a chick and say, you're giving this guy too much, stop texting him. If I have to do that, then she doesn't respect me and I'm not going to be in that relationship. I'm not going to sit there and police her phone. She'll yeah. self self. Hey. She'll self police out of respect for me. If she's not yeah, doing yeah, that, she's not self policing, then she clearly doesn't here. respect me very much. And I need to understand the chessboard. I need to look at the board and say, okay, I'm not very well respected in this relationship. She thinks talking to these dudes is more important than keeping me happy. It's only a matter of time until we break up. Okay, we okay, okay. I I, I agree with this, but the, the problem is that you're lumping in you're lumping two things that are that are very, very, very different. Okay. Relationship needs and social needs. That what they're not they're they're separate uh experiences. You you saying and fearing the, the social overall aspect of, of, of your girlfriend, saying that, that, that she's mixing that with, with, with the with your personal relationship love, right? Is a problem itself. That is that is a problem that, that you cannot that you can't see. That's a good social needs that is good to talk to other beings, hear new ideas, have different intellectual conversations with other beings than you. Bro, you 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 you, you can't entertain all of her fucking uh, intellectual whatever the fuck. Bro, they, they have to go out there and and and, and talk and have fun conversations that aren't having sex and having a love with somebody else. Like what? I'd appreciate if you'd stop using the word fear because I'm not fearful. So you can stop using that word, firstly. Secondly. Well, I can't, it's, it's hard because when you don't want somebody to do something, it, it's it's out of fear. It, that, that's how it is. You think? Yeah, by default it is, but you are fearful of something happening, yes. It's not about being fearful. It's just about having my boundaries as an individual and, and having- Boundaries of what? Boundaries that, what will happen? Boundaries of what? What is the thing that you're shielding? You said boundary from what? Boundary nice. and shield from what? From something, let, bro. Let me you don't wear you don't wear a fucking bulletproof vest, being scared of the fucking wind. You wear bulletproof vest against guns and bullets, bitch. Sorry. Let me, I, I, let, I, take, oh, I take the bitch back. I cannot pull that no, no I, I don't mind. That's fine. I'll, I'll answer your first original question about them being social. <laughs> Women often, if they're with a man and they love that man, their social circle ends up involving or being built around that man. His friends become their friends. The girlfriends of the other gr other guys that he's friends with becomes their friends. I'm not saying they're not going to have any friends and nobody outside of me. But anybody who is completely and utterly unrelated to me is to a degree an enemy combatant. You, you need to understand, my friend, that life as a man is ultra competitive and it is war. We are all competing with each other. If Everybody's at war. Okay. The, every, the whole war. thing is war. Girls every, are at war. Guys, everybody is at fucking war. Yes, life is a battlefield, and sometimes you got to make choices and shit like that, and that's how you climb, motherfucker. You have to, okay. you have to take some down. It is what it is. It's a war, yeah. All right.